good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick two-minute video on the Sixers getting the Anthony Melton trading the 23rd pick and Danny Green. So an old shooter that is lacking his defense except for the postseason when Danny Green stepped up at this point of his career in the twilight, really end years of his career. For the Anthony Melton, who is developing still and getting better and growing and becoming more plentiful each season and is a player that's already a good shooter and seeming from Daryl Morey's quotes, likes what he's able to do on the two-way game as well as a young kid that is 24 years of age. Um, and he just recently turned 24, celebrating his 24th birthday last month. But Morey was quoted saying, we're trying to win now. We're looking for players who can contribute. We were the number one defense two years ago. We were good last year. We want to make sure we improve that. So if we can get a perimeter defender, maybe for a draft pick, we feel good about that. I think someone like that is someone who can really contribute and be a two-way player. Someone like, that, someone like that, excuse me, would be a really nice addition. And obviously that really nice addition became DeAnthony Melton, who also was only owed $16.25 million, uh, and you're maximizing solid contracts for a good player who's coming in that's not just for the now, but also could be for the future. And Maury even said that in a quote as well when he said, I like having a mix of vets and young guys who are pushing the vets, so I think we value draft picks pretty highly. But it, look, it's really valuable when you give up a pick, but we're sort of in what we think is an important window. So they know the important window they're in, but they also know getting a guy like Melton kind of kills two birds in one stone because he's going to continue to progress. He's just entering his prime ages right now. So you're kind of getting a guy that's going to be there potentially for the next at least few years. Five, actually, I was going to say five. Five would probably be a stretch. But at least the next few years. Um, where he's going to be able to then, if he mixes in, maybe be here for five years or so because he's only 24 years of age. So he obviously has a long window, you would think, in averaging double-digit points, even if he is just that six-man solid piece off the bench. That's still a nice thing to have. And then wrapping up, where he said, obviously we haven't made it as far as he wanted to, so we're looking for more with now. If we can get someone maybe earlier in their career but already contributing uh, who could be here for a long time, that would be great too. Well, ergo... Anthony Melton. He's only 24 years of age. He can shoot the freaking rock really good already, and he's not even, you would think, fully developed yet. So now you have also another issue the Sixers needed to solve, which is the fact that Furkan Korkmaz was one of their better perimeter shooters off the bench, and he's not good. So unless if he drastically improves next year, getting DeAnthony Melton is really going to help with that, and DeAnthony Melton doesn't suck defensively, and he's going to continue to get better defensively, and he's already solid defensively. It seems, at least from Daryl Morey's course, I don't know a lot about him defensively, but seemingly from what Daryl Morey says, it seems like he's at least a solid guy defensively, but he definitely can shoot the rock. So that's the thing I honestly care more about the most. So I don't have to see Furkan Korkmaz if he's still on the damn team on the court is damn much. But this has been a quick video. I'm reacting to the DeAnthony Melton trade. It ended up being about three minutes. I would give this trade an A. I think it's a good trade. He traded an old shooter for a younger shooter and a guy that's going to potentially be um, a guy that's a good two-way player like uh, Darren Moore was talking about in his quote that I was read in this video. But the key piece is he's a guy that's not just for the now, but he's also important for the now, but he could be here for the longevity as well. He's only 24 years of age, so maybe a five-year player in this guy or a six-year, seven-year freaking player. That would be a huge expectation going in, so I'm not going to expect in that. But the fact that he's a young player that's a good shooter that's still developing well, rounding out his game is a good thing for the Sixers to get, and all they do is give up the 23rd pick and a guy that's pretty much at the twilight watch part of his career in Danny Green for it. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or above in these views. Would you keep channel growing to the goal? 260 or more by the start of July.